I wish I could be out there with you, Rook. Just be careful, all right? Rook, you're awake, and we're... In the Fade. This is where people come when they dream, but dwarves don't dream. And somehow, I'm here. Yeah, it's unreal. Nev thought we should talk about what to do next. We should, but maybe look around a little? We might be here a while.
wasn't supposed to go this way. What do we do now? What do we do? Harding? Oh, hey, Rook. Uh, how's it going? Did you ever find places like this, chasing Solus with Varric? Not exactly, but with Solus, it was always about the Fade, or the Veil, vale, or some other in-between place. Varric always hated it, though. At least this place feels different. Maybe... safer? Harding, are you doing all right? I don't know. Are you? Is anyone? Anyway, it doesn't matter how I'm doing. What are we gonna do about this mess? We were going to go back through the Alluvian, right? Let's start with that. As soon as we can. You know, you can take some time to just... Now you sound like Varric. Varric and I started this. And I can't stop. Not now. Don't ask me to. So, come get me when you're ready to go, all right? Wisps. Figures are in the fate, but I swear they're following me. You all right? Strange place you've fallen into, but I'll work with it. You know me. Do I? We're both shadow dragons and both from Minrathus. Maybe our paths haven't crossed, but I know our work has. I made a call that got you injured right after we met. I'll be fine. You trusted me for the job and I delivered. That's what counts. If we're stuck in this, let's hope you can trust me again. Why wouldn't I? Shadows stand together. That's the idea. Cross your fingers it works out for us. You take a lot of notes. What about? Lately. What we know, or knew, before Solus changed the game. And it's, uh... Not much. I'm sure Lace would hate to hear that, but one step at a time. We'll figure this out. I'm sure of it. Really? Do you know something I don't? No, we just... well... 
We have to, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the job. So, we stopped the ritual. And Varric paid the price. Hey, Varric made his choice to go talk with Solas. He knew the risks. We all did. And now Solas is gone. And we're here. Wherever here is. Besides in the Fade. Solas called it the Lighthouse. He did? When? Sorry, it was while I was unconscious. Solus appeared in my dream. Really? I'm glad you're all right. From what I saw, he's trapped in the Fade now. Not here, but some kind of prison. You're sure that wasn't just a dream? It's a reasonable reaction. Solus can speak with people in their dreams, even kill them. He said our connection wasn't strong enough for him to do that. He could only reach me because I bled at the ritual site when I got banged up. So Solus is using blood magic, like any normal mage would to play with your mind. But he's not a normal mage, like I told you. He's an elven god. Putting together a nice ritual doesn't make him a god. He nearly brought down the veil, Nev. Can you do that? You know it's not that simple. He may not be a prayers and blessings kind of god, but he's a lot more than just a mage. All right, well, we've stopped the ritual and there doesn't seem to be an immediate danger. For now. You're certain Solas can't use blood magic to affect your mind? I'm not certain of anything, but we are not out of danger. What do you mean? Solas had two of the other elven gods imprisoned. When he got trapped, they escaped. So those things we saw come out of the Fade when the ritual went wild, those are... Elgrenon and Gilanain. Two of the ancient elven gods that Solus rebelled against. They're our next target. So we set our sights on a pair of elven gods. Like it's easy. Who else is gonna do it? If they're loose, they need killing. They were evil tyrants who enslaved their people. We need to stop them. Solus says Elgrenon and Gilanane drew on the Blight for power and became corrupted. That was when he imprisoned them. So instead of one god running around, we have two. And they're not just powerful, they're blighted. We need to get out there and stop them. Just like that. We're down a man without Varric. We can't just rush in. I know you're hurt, Nev. But the rest of us need to do something. I'll be ready to fight when it's time, but we need to investigate, then figure out what we're dealing with. And how many more people will get hurt, get killed, while we spend time investigating? If Elgrenon and Gilanane are worse than Solus, we can't go in blind. We need to know what they can do and what they want. But we only have Solus's word about all of this. Then let's go investigate for ourselves. We find out what we're dealing with, and then we take our shot. Fine. The Alluvian led us here instead of back to Minrathis. Let's hope it goes back to the ritual site. Maybe we can find some clues at the scene of the crime. Nev, are you okay to go? It's a headache. I've worked with worse. All right, then. Let's get back to the ritual site. The Alluvian has its own special room. It's just down the stairs.
For all we know, there's a dozen demons waiting on the other side of that alluvian. <clears throat> if it even takes us back to Arlefin. Nev, you sure you're up for this? Don't worry about me. Shall we? Let's do this. It's quiet. Well, isn't that a surprise? There's the ritual site. But if the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. Right. Let's take a look around and see if we can find... Strife? Irlin? It's me, Lace Harding. Harding? What are you doing back in Arlathan? It's complicated. I can see that. Rook, Nev, this is Strife and Irlin. Varric and I met them when we first started hunting down Solus. They're veil jumpers, experts in ancient elven magic. Hardly experts. I should have been able to shut that artifact down. I'm sorry, Tarith. It's not your fault. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. Bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. This is because of Finn Harrell's... Sorry. Solus's ritual, isn't it? You all were supposed to stop him. We did stop him. The sky's not pulling itself apart anymore, is it? But... But it didn't go as cleanly as we hoped. Solus got pulled into the Fade and two somethings got pulled out. Or someones, I mean. Two of the evil elven gods. Elgrenon and Gilanane. Methalanast. The elven gods of old. The Evan Eurus. If they truly have returned... Then things just got a whole lot worse. Anything you can tell us about these gods? Solus might be a bastard, but compared to the Avenuris, let's just say they weren't known for being kind rulers. There's a reason Solus led a rebellion against the Avenuris, and a reason he imprisoned them. But now they've escaped. Tarith is in bad shape. We need to get him back to the camp. We've still got dozens of Veil Jumpers unaccounted for. How can we help? We need to find Bellara Lute. She's the best there is at working with our ancient artifacts. And also at blowing them up. She was off looking for another artifact before this ritual shook everything loose. If anyone can get a handle on all this wild magic and the artifacts it's setting off, it'll be her. Right. You get your friend back to your camp and... <sighs> we'll find Bellara. Nev, I need you to stay with Strife and Irulan, all right? I'm fine. You're the best detective in Minrathis. You can help the Veil Jumpers here. If trouble shows up, they could use your skills. Fair enough. We'll meet you back at the Veil Jumper camp. It's just south of here. Bellara's out near some elven ruins to the west. 
At least she was three days ago. I'd start your search there. Good luck, Rook. And thank you. Is it me, or is there something strange about this fog? It all feels a little off. Like everything shifted a little bit. Is that suit of armor moving? from Bolara? Bolara Luter? Strife in Ireland sent us to find you. Who are you, exactly? Call me Rook. Lace Harding. Protocol is to wait a full week before they send anyone out to look for me. I've only been gone three days. Well, the situation's changed. For the worse, unfortunately. The elven gods Elgernon and Gilanane have escaped Fenharel's prison. And it seems like they want to destroy the world. Oh, yes, that is very much for the worse. Okay, wait, I need a second. Okay, uh, <laughs> didn't realize my mic was unmuted. Uh, been talking this whole time, but that's all right. Uh, it's a lot to take in. It does sort of explain a few things, though. Like what? The surge of raw magic in the area. These artifacts started waking up a while ago, but in fits and starts. One here, a couple there. Then, a couple of days ago, the sky split open. And now, raw magic. Thick as fog. Only a god, or gods, could have done that. There's something kind of exciting about it. And dangerous. Really dangerous. Dangerous enough that I was gonna head back to the Veil Jumper camp, but... But what? See that shimmer? That's a Veil Bubble. It's separating us from the rest of the real world, so to speak. You can only pass through it one way. Once you're in, you can't get out. I think I'd prefer to stay in one piece, yeah. Right, me too. But I think I can find a way out. A bubble like that? There has to be something at the center that's generating it. Something powerful. If we can find it and remove it safely, I mean, the bubble itself should collapse. And then we're back in reality? I really, really hope so. <laughs> well then, let's get going. So you really didn't miss much of me talking. Uh, 
I decided not to bring knee further along because I felt like she's already injured. Uh, bringing it further might injure her more. Uh, I'm gonna look around here. Someone made camp all the way out here. We've got camps all over Arlathan. The bail jumpers do. I mean, you never really know I when won. or where the magic's gonna start going wild. Break any of that. <laughs> to get to the artifact at the center of the bubble. But these magical constructs keep getting in the way. We've handled our share of demons. A few dozen more shouldn't be a problem. Spirits, not demons. They're animating those suits of armor. The armor's attuned to the artifact to protect it from threats. Threats like us, I'm guessing. Can I walk on that? I don't think I oh, Yep, I guess I can. <laughs> Uh, where am I supposed to? Maybe I'm going that way, maybe I'm not. Demons! Right where we need to go! Then let's deal with them. Quick. Okay, so... Unnecessary damage. Okay. Just for a green pot, but apparently not. So, what is this artifact we're looking for exactly? I have a couple of theories, but nothing definite. We might find some clues in the ruins, though. I don't usually see elven ruins that haven't been picked over. Not many people come this far into Arlathan. Just bail jumpers, mostly. And people trying to save the world, apparently. What was this place? Could have been a temple, could have been where they stored food. But judging by the sentinels, it's probably something important. Probably. It almost feels like an armory, or some- Wow. I've never seen anything like this. Wait, is this- No, it can't be. Not here. Can't be what? We have to get over there. The artifact we're looking for must be inside. Okay, so. I 
trying to walk off the off beaten path here to see if I can find anything, but are we just supposed to jump across? Oh no, we can make a bridge. There should be a power crystal somewhere nearby. Uh, yeah. Got it. Bring it over here and slot it in. And there we go. Easy. Huh. That's a great trick. Mm -hmm. If it comes in use. A resonance amplifier. It's drawing magic from the ring temple to this area. I need to shut it down before we can go up the path. But doing that will attract anything nasty that's hanging around. We're ready. So I'm guessing of the magic energy. Path should be clear ahead. Alright. So, got another skill here. So, you want... Oh, yeah. Definitely get that. What is this here? Oh, I like the shield toss, though. I don't know. We're not going to use that. Ah. Uh, ooh. Nothing there. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing there. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think so.
nothing in the corner. Is that a nug? wonder how they died. Even mages have trouble with the artifacts here. They expect them to work like, you know, normal magic. But they're different. The magic's more alive somehow. Rock couple. Watch out. Whenever you see one, there's more nearby. Good to know. Seeing these kinds of ruins never gets old. Can anything here tell us what that artifact is? I have a theory, but we're miles away from where that artifact should be. there first. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. Okay, so these constructs, it means I was right. a lot more damage than you need to do, but... Sorry. 
So what kind of artifact shows up in an armory? A weapon? An archive spirit. Definitely. A what? A creature of the Fade, bound to a crystal. Ancient elves used them to store knowledge and to help them dream. Definitely a dark spawn. Mythalinast. Dark spawn. Believed it until today. Another one of those resonance amplifiers. Get ready. Once I shut it down, the path ahead will remain blocked until the magic dissipates. We've got your back. Dark spawn this deep into Arlathan Forest before. As far as I know, it's never happened. If the gods are blighted, like Solus claims, maybe they're communicating with the dark spawn somehow, directing them. You saw those dark spawn, though. Something was different about them. And we'll stop them once we get out of this bubble. Right. Let's get to that central temple. I don't know what the crystals are going to do, but I figure they'll come in handy later.
Kesin etti. And another resonance amplifier. Should be the last one. I hope. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're just waiting on us. Okay. Something about the blight? Where it is, I mean? It's almost like it's feeding off the elven magic. what I think it is, then the alignment means we're here. This is it. This is where it was kept. Where what was kept? The archive spirit, or as the ancient elves called it, the Nodis Durthalin. It means the inevitability of knowledge. What does that mean? I don't know, actually. The notes were never very clear on that, but I plan to find out. So, I don't, oh, maybe it just wraps around, I guess. <laughs> oh, well, we're running out of time. We're going to call it here, and we'll continue on the next video. If you've been watching, I hope you guys have a good one. We'll catch you later. Thanks.